Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Good to see you again, everybody that is returning and all of my subscribers, our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed and you're returning, it's a great time to do that. If you're new, I'm Travis and this is Susie. We're from the Wolf Hunters. We have a reaction video for you. Um, if you want to request your own personal reaction video, you can find that link in the description box below the video. Uh, you can click more or the three dots or whatever it is that's down there. Uh, there's a blue link. Um, if you click it, you can pick it. You can request music, movie scenes, comedy skits, live performances, sports, all kinds of videos. Interviews. Today's video is brought to you by Matt. Matt is bringing us an Elvis Presley interview. This is Elvis Presley talking candidly about Ooh. his movie career. Um, Matt says, hey guys, Travis, recently you were asking for some more info on EP on Elvis Presley's movie career. This is probably the most candid open interview he ever did. When you look at his career on film, it is impressive. 31 movies, all of which made a return and generally rated in the top tier of films by year of the release. He was the highest paid actor in Hollywood in the 60s, wow. receiving $1 million per picture, 50% and 50% of the profits. Wow. Holy smokes. His early progression was staggering. If you watch the growth from his first film in 1956, ah, hang on. he was out of his depth to his fourth in 1958, you could see the growth and would have thought he was going to become something special. For a guy that had never even appeared in a school play, had never received formal acting lessons, he had something brewing Ooh. until Hollywood and his management saw his future in lower cost. Lightweight musicals that could support a soundtrack and would generally perform well just because he was in it. Hmm. Four films per year, three albums, a product, and product, wow. product, product. Quality was lost in doing things as cheap as possible. There was no consideration about his acting dream oh. um, or the types of films he wanted to do. You're about to hear it from the man himself, whatever people say about his acting. I, for one, look at all the mistakes made, but still look on in awe. He would have to be arguably the most successful musician to move into hmm. acting ever. Yeah. I, I don't know that. any other singer that has made 31 films. Me neither. Wow. But what a lost opportunity. The last film offered to him was A Star is Born, and he was talked out of it. He would have been oh. brilliant in that role. He would have been brilliant in yeah. that role. Uh, uh, enjoy, guys. Looking forward to your thoughts. Wow. All right. Let's do it. We're about to hear it straight from the guy. Straight from him. I think you hear of, like, some actors who become musicians. And they do okay. And then there are some musicians that become actors. I think it's really more popular maybe like for like rappers to become actors than I think any other genre probably. Like in cons like consistently. I don't know. Hey, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and feel free to comment below. I would say though that most of the time when you do see a singer acting... They are not. They are not usually playing a a lead role. They're usually mm. playing like another character or supporting character. Mm. I don't know. Anyways, I didn't associate myself as uh, being that. I was I was busy with a script. I had to memorize a script. It changed a lot of those things. Yeah, it was work. It was a job, you know. I had to be there at a certain time in the morning and work a certain amount of hours, and that's exactly how I treated it. So I don't, and so I was more concerned about if the picture was any good or if I was any good, and it, you know. So a lot of action movies, there were always, when you were driving a car, or you were? Yeah. 
That must be hard to memorize. You know, a lot of people even the news. I'd be like, let's do blind by the way. Through it, one time or another. A lot of people say, I've heard say, oh, he doesn't give a shit, you know, about his movies. He makes all those movies and they just kind of grind them out. We know different. That's one of the things we want to accomplish in this film. Mm -hmm. He really cares about oh, the shows sure. on stage. He really cares about the movies, yeah. good or bad. The point is that. Uh, that you care about those films, you care if they're not good. You yeah, I, 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 I cared so much until I became physically ill. I would become violently ill. Yeah. I'd get a temperature or something would happen to me. What would concern you at the time about the film? What would make you ill? Uh, the fact that I didn't, it, it, at a certain stage, I had no say so in it. I didn't have final approval of the script. Which means that I, I, I couldn't say this is not good for me, whatever. In other words, they just used you. They did anything they wanted to do. It was that type. It was more or less that type of thing. I don't think anybody was consciously trying to harm me. It was just uh, Hollywood's image of me was wrong, and I knew it, and I couldn't say anything about it. I couldn't do anything about it. I'd be right into production. I was doing a lot of pictures close together, and the pictures. Got I mean, outside of his image, I imagine the challenges and difficulties, just like concerts, large concerts especially, where the idea of the show must go on, you know, where it's like all the staff is there, the lights, the place is rented, the this, the that, you know, the food is ordered, the, I mean, you name the list. And if you're not feeling well, to just be like, canceled the day or something like that i imagine that's got to be nearly impossible to do you know where it's like probably like well yeah but i think he's talking work. about being represented as an individual that he didn't feel reflected him well which is hard in a movie because yeah. you know no, i mean i was just talking about in regards to like the not feeling well and the temperature but still like pushing forward and stuff like that you know what i mean but go ahead. What? <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's it. I think yeah. that, you know, he's saying, like, sometimes he would be so concerned over, you know, the way that things were viewed that it would make him ill. Oh, I misunderstood that. Yeah. Uh, it would make him physically uh, ill being worried that he was being represented poorly or that the film uh, wouldn't do well or that i thought it was more like you know like the dedication like when some of these people are like they they lose 50 pounds in one month kind of a thing mm. and you're like almost making yourself sick or you're you're filming in the rain and stuff oh that's not what he's talking no about. no yeah he's saying i care so much about how how these films go and People, people were basically saying like, "Oh, he's just doing them for like some extra money. Uh, like he's, yeah. it's just easy, it's just easy money." But what he's saying is, "No, I cared so much. I cared so yeah. much actually that I would get physically ill over the idea that okay. the film would be, you know, taken poorly or whatever." Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and okay. yeah. Got very similar. Let them get very similar. And. Uh... They, you know, if something was successful, I'd try to recreate it the next time around. So I'd read the first four or five pages, and I knew that it was just a, a different name with the 12 new songs in it. <laughs> the songs were mediocre in most cases. You can't get a good song. So that what that's what might have made it seem like the indifference, you know. But I was never indifferent. I was I was so concerned until that's I just that's all I talked about. It it worried me sick, you know. So I had to change it, which I did. You know, I had to change it around. Yeah, the I, was, I was obligated in like four years in advance. You know. oh, sure. You're not gonna remember things like the, the the great dance sequence in jailhouse. I do think nowadays, if a actor is successful enough they do get to have a much more of a say in some things that happen and ways that they think things should go and stuff like that, where I think that 
was probably something that didn't happen as much in the past. Well, I mean, also, it's like a different situation because he is a famous singer first, primarily, even if he didn't want to be that. Mm. You know, he has to care about what his character is doing because sometimes people will just stink at separating the two. Mm, and going, true. this is yeah, a movie. Right. You know, even if his name is, you know, Bill in the yeah. movie, they'll still say, oh, it's Elvis. Yeah. You know, and then it's like, well, what is Bill saying that Elvis would never say? Mm. And like, people have a hard time separating yeah. the character from the singer. Mm. And I can imagine that that is difficult. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? When Jerry told you choreographed it, you know, your thing yourself, that's a beautiful sequence. How did that come about? I mean, how did you get that kind of control? I just did it, and they, <laughs> we had a, chore a choreographer that just uh, more or less geared the dances off of what I did. But, uh, and they did have him acting I, I don't a lot know. like I, Elvis, like his dance. It's, it's nobody's fault, maybe sing. except my own. Uh, I didn't know what to do. I just felt I was obligated very heavily to, a lot of times, to things that I didn't fully believe in. And that was very difficult, you know. That's the feeling I got. Well, the difference was this, I think. Turn it properly. No. <laughs> no, I agree. Right? Was Elvis's contracts were made up before the scripts. In other words, when people do pictures, they do it by a script. They say, yeah, I'll do the script. Then they do the picture. But Elvis was contracted to do pictures, so he had to do a picture with no matter what they told him to do. Yeah, you got five pictures to do. Or you whatever. say you got yeah. you, know, you do the right. script. That's what, what I'm that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. The pictures. movies were made. Like, I mean, the contracts were signed like four yeah, years in advance. Pictures, wow. seven pictures, no matter what pictures. So I had thought the that uh, they would try to get a new property for me or give me a chance to show some kind of acting ability or do a very interesting story, but it did not change. It did not change. And so I, I became very discouraged. They couldn't have paid me you no know, amount of money in the world to make me feel uh, any uh, self-satisfaction inside. They might but have yeah, thought, like, oh, he's I, the money. I had to. That's what he's saying, yeah. What kind of film would you Just pumping like out more film? albums, more You're pictures. That's hard to say. I, I, and they're entertaining. I would like to have something that was more challenging instead of Hollywood's image of what they thought I was. Mm. I get it now. Yeah, he didn't want just that was helpful. To, he didn't just want to entertain in his movies. He wanted to, you know, do a picture that you know had some mm. some meat to it. Did he ever get at least one guys where he was able to really do that, or was it every single time? I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Let me know. Uh, thanks so much for that, Matt. Greatly appreciate you. Guys, if you want to request your own personal reaction video, you can find that link in the description box below. There's a blue link. Click and pick it. You can like and subscribe. If you haven't already, especially if you're new, subscribe to that channel. Uh, stay tuned. Stay positive. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.